including children, four years ago. The charges were dismissed over a lack of evidence. The soldiers blamed faulty weapons, but Afghans insist there is no excuse for innocent deaths. Civilians killed, NATO soldiers go free. The same old story in Afghanistan that threatened for a moment to be different. Polish soldiers were put on trial for deaths, including a pregnant woman and a child. On the 16th of August 2007, mortar shells that were fired by Polish troops hit the Afghan village of Nangahel. As a result, six people were killed and three were severely wounded. But the soldiers were cleared of all charges. One of the accused told RT it's all been a big mistake. We didn't see people, but uh, we were accident. This accident was because uh, of uh, our ammo was uh, damaged or something like that. And uh, it was also a problem uh, with uh, mortar. A grenade malfunctioned and missed its Taliban target by 500 meters, claims Ashetsky. But prosecutors alleged it was revenge for a roadside bomb which killed another Polish soldier earlier in the day. Experts say it's unlikely anything could go so catastrophically wrong. This is not logical. The operator of the motor could not make such a serious error with such a large distance. The question is, did they decide to open fire themselves or did they receive this command from above? But there is no doubt they were shooting at the village, not the nearby hills. The defendants argued their commanders ordered the attack and they should be the ones standing trial. Activists warn while the conflict continues, civilian deaths from NATO bombing are inevitable and will only rise. You know, the longer the, the war goes, goes on, the, the, the war situation is. So the answer is, I think, quite simple to withdraw troops from Afghanistan as a beginning of any process of stabilization of that country because the troops, Western troops, doesn't bring stabilization to Afghanistan, just the opposite. As the death toll goes up on both sides, support for NATO's mission plummets. A majority in Europe, say opinion polls, now think the conflict's going in the wrong direction. This war's already unpopular in the EU. There's the 100 billion euro cost while services are being cut at home. The sight of our boys coming back in coffins is even worse. Leaving the death of civilians unpunished further weakens the case to stay in Afghanistan. Even the Afghan president's turning against NATO. After the latest 14 civilians were killed, Hamid Karzai delivered his strongest words yet, giving a final warning and threatening war if it happens again. Daniel Bushel, RT.